Welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this smoky cat eye look. I got inspired by a picture that I saw, I believe, I think it was on Facebook. Kind of made it my own a bit. I just really wanted to go with a really dark eye because lately I've been doing a lot of browns. And yeah, I use a bit of dark browns and my quite warm colours. But it's been a while since I've done a really dark eye. And then I paired it, of course, with a dark lip. Um, this is actually um, the MUA Lux... I can't remember what they're called. I think it could be called like velvet, velvet lips or something. They are a dupe to the Lime Crime Velveteen, so I know there was a lot of problems with Lime Crime. So if you're looking for a very cheap alternative, these are really good. I really, it doesn't dry out your lips at all. I'm not really sure of the shade. Oh, here it is here. It's in the shade Reckless. That's what I have on my lips now. And even though summer is coming up, I thought, why not do one more, you know, dark look before we really hit summer? And anyway, I mean, who cares? Like, who says you can't wear dark colours in summer? Because I don't say it. And also, for those who watch me in the Southern Hemisphere, you're obviously going into winter. So this could be something that you could potentially wear um, going out or wherever you want. So... Yeah, if you want to see how I got this really dramatic black cat eye look, then just please keep watching. Okay, to begin this look, I'm taking this colour here, which is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Brushes palette. And I'm just blending that into my crease. This is going to be our transition shade, just to help the other eyeshadows blend really well and seamlessly. Then I'm taking this brown shade and I'm taking it on a more dense blending brush and I'm kind of carving out my crease a bit. This colour is just mainly going to be concentrated into the crease. I'm blending it right out to meet that sellotape which I applied on the outer parts of my eye. And then I'm going in and blending that out again. Then I'm taking this reddish brown colour which is also from the palette and I'm starting to blend that into the crease as well just deepening that crease even more and just adding a bit of warmth to the eye as well because this is a really warm reddish brown and then going back and blending again because this look is all about blending all the colours together. Next I'm taking this fluffy pencil brush in this black eyeshadow and I'm applying this right into the crease and I'm going to kind of take it out in a V shape as you can see me doing here. And this is why the tape is really helpful because it will keep that line nice and sharp. So all the eyeshadows are basically going out to meet that tape, And then I'm blending that out again. Then I'm taking this brown shade and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid because I left the lid bare so I wanted to put something down so that will just help the colours kind of blend together onto my lid and then I'm taking this Essence eyeliner pen and I'm starting to kind of map out my wing. I will go in again with a gel eyeliner and just kind of go over that but for now I'm just kind of mapping out what my wing is going to be like. And it's really helpful to keep the cell tape on for this part because it just really helps keep your wing nice and sharp. Now I'm going in with gel eyeliner and I'm just going over it so it will be really black. And I'm bringing it right into the inner corner and creating a V in the inner corner. And then once I've done that I'm taking a black eye pencil and lining my eyes. And then I'm taking a black eyeshadow and just smudging out that bottom lash line. Next I'm taking that same pencil brush and I'm just going over the, like just darkening up that crease even more and I'll just go over the bottom lash line a bit as well and then I'm going back and blending that out because what else would you be doing? Then I'm taking this red, reddish brown colour again and I'm just blending out the lower lash line with that and a larger fluffy brush and then blending out everything else. Then I'm taking these eyelashes from Eyelore. I can't remember the number of them but I will link them below. And then that's the eye look pretty much finished, so you can kind of see it there. And you could leave your lips bare, like I have them here, well not bare, but you could put like a nude lip on and it would kind of look something like this. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a red lipstick instead. This is um, the colour Reckless from the MUA Lux Velveteens or something, I can't remember the name. But I'm using a red Wet n Wild lip liner just to line the outsides of my lip first. Then I'm taking the MUA Lip 
paint thing and I'm just um, putting it on my lips. Then once you've done that, this look is complete. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.